Hello and welcome back. This is the solution for problem X tower from at coder educational DP contest. The problem states that there are n blocks numbered 1 to n and for each block i uh, it has a weight wi solidness s of i and value vi and Taro has decided to build a tower by choosing some of the n blocks so we are choosing a subset of blocks from the n blocks and stack them vertically in some order. Uh, the, and the tower must follow the following condition which is that for each block i contained in the tower the sum of the weights of the block stacked above it is not greater than s of i and we need to find maximum possible sum of values of the block which can be contained in the tower and this condition is met the constraints are as follows so let's move on to the solution so as we can see we are given a sequence or a set of blocks each having a three properties w s and v and the question basically asks us to go over all the permutations of the array and over all the permutations select a valid subset uh, a valid subset meaning following this condition and we need to go over all the permutations because even if we select some subset of blocks among the n blocks we are we can also make certain rearrangement between them which can yield different answers so as the question says, states here in some order so after selecting a subset we also need to select some order between that subset and uh, the question demands to go over all the permutations select a valid subset and then maximum maximize the value of the sum of the values in that subset so this is what the question is about so the main issue is in this is to go over all the permutations so if we don't have to uh, go over all the permutations or consider all the orderings then the problem can be simplified into a knapsack dp where we just take we just perform the operations by choosing a subset in a particular ordering and we can simply perform the knapsack dp uh, for by considering whether to take or don't take these two choices but since ordering can be different from different hours which can be constructed we also need to somehow arrange them or get rid of this factor so let's go over the question once again so if we stack a subset of size 4 of into a tower and the conditions that were mentioned in the question can be rearranged as follows so uh, s1 of uh, the the bottommost block will yield this equation the way some of the weights of the, all the blocks above it is is then equals to the solidness of that similarly for blocks 2 3 and 4 since 4 does not have any block above it hence some of the weights of blocks above it is zero so this is the main idea so let's now uh, check what should be the ordering of the uh, blocks that we need to perform suppose uh, for some arrangement of the tower uh, the block with index i is below the block with index j then the strength of the tower can be uh, deduced as s of i minus wj because essentially whenever you put a block about another block then uh, the equality for that block will contain a term on lhs which is the weight of the block which is above it hence the overall strength of that block will be reduced by the amount of weight which is above it so if you uh, shift this term to the right hand side you can see that the weight uh, the strength is reduced so the strength of the tower can be denoted by s of i minus wj and uh, if you change it to the opposite sense then if i th block is about j -th block then this term becomes s of j minus w of i and in both of these arrangements uh, let's try to figure out what will yield the maximum strength since we want to uh, store the blocks with maximum strength at the bottom and minimum strength at the top 
or minimum strength that the top is not uh, an essential condition but basically we want to make the base of the tower as strong as possible so we will always it is always uh, better to put the blocks with maximum strength at the bottom so uh, these two equations will yield us the inequalities as follows after rearranging the terms from first we will arrive at the second where uh, the variables are on either side of the equation and we don't know yet what should be the value of this inequality so uh, the condition as we talked earlier we want to maximize the strength of the tower hence we must put the blocks with maximum strength at the bottom and the strength of the tower is essentially the value s of i plus w of i for any block i hence we must uh, order the blocks in the way such that this condition is met so essentially this uh, gives us the sense uh, about the strength of the tower and since we want to maximize the strength of the tower uh, we should arrange the blocks in such a way that this term with maximum value the maximum blocks with this value should be at the bottom and uh, the ones with smaller should be at the top so this should be the ordering in which we should sort, sort the blocks uh, based on this condition so we must arrange all the blocks input blocks such a way that the values for s of j plus w of j which are larger should uh, should be at the right and which are smaller should be at the left and after performing such ordering we will perform the simple knapsack dp approach by performing the uh, following two choices so at each block i we have two choices either to take that block in the subset or don't take the block in the subset um, basically after performing this ordering we have eliminated the uh, point number one from this approach we don't need to consider all the permutations we have simply selected a particular ordering which will yield a bet which will yield the optimal answer so now the only part that remains is to finding a valid subset in the given n blocks and maximizing the, maximizing the value of uh, the selected blocks in that subset so th that we will for that we will use uh, knapsack dp approach and as i mentioned these two choices should be considered second choice is to say that consider the block id in the subset and this will only be taken if the condition that the sum of the weights of all the blocks above it is less than equals to the solid solidness of that block and the recurrence for that will be given as follows so id will be the index of the block that we are currently at top weight sum will denote the sum of the blocks that have, we have taken earlier which lie above the current block and these are the two conditions that we need to follow and for this condition we are adding the value and we also need to check this condition that as the question mentions and we will also handle the base conditions accordingly so now let's go over the implementation this is the structure for block which stores the values as w and v then uh, we are going to take input n and the n well n parameters for the blocks for all the blocks then we are going to sort it from according to the equation that we saw earlier we are going to sort on the basis of this and we are going to start selecting the blocks from left to right so the leftmost will have the smallest strength and since we are constructing the blocks from top to bottom we are constructing from top to bottom this will have the minimum strength and the the one to the right will have the maximum strength hence we are uh, starting the iteration for selecting a subset from index 0 and this 0 denotes that the top weight sum is initially 0 because there is no selected block above it so this is the memorization part and these base conditions are according, handled accordingly this is the first choice to neglect the ith block 
and simply move on to the next one this will not add any value and the second one is by choosing the ith block in the subset and it, it can only be chosen if this condition is met and if uh, for uh, updating the answer we need to consider this value and move on to the next state which is the next uh, block which is i plus one, id plus one and now the some of the blocks above the current block will be increased by the weight of the block that we have taken and we can simply return the answer from here yeah so this will essentially give us the final answer so that was it about this video this video specifically was over the specific order in which we can solve some optimization problems using dynamic programming and this technique is helpful for that yeah so yeah thank you if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments thank you